Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Stegall. I'm a kidney transplant surgeon here at Mayo Clinic Rochester. And I'm here to talk about aloe antibody and ABO incompatible kidney transplant, or antibody barriers to kidney transplantation. You may have been told that you have antibodies against your donor, either against the blood group or against the tissue types. And this may be the reason that you've actually been referred to Mayo Clinic Rochester. Over the past 14 years, we've developed uh, quite a bit of expertise in this area so that we've been able to perform transplants in the setting in which you have antibody against your living donor. Now, I'm going to talk about that for a few minutes. One of the major problems that people face when they're trying to get a living donor is, at times, the uh, living donor is blood group incompatible. For example, if your blood group O and your donor's blood group A, you will have antibodies against the blood group A, and the kidney, when it goes in, might be damaged by the antibodies that you have in your bloodstream. This is once thought to be an absolute contraindication to kidney transplant. But over the past several years, we find that we can overcome this barrier in many instances. You do have options in this uh, setting, though. One option, actually, is just to go on the deceased donor waiting list and wait for a blood group O kidney. However, you might have to wait four to five years for a kidney transplant. Another option that we have here at Mayo is you might uh, go into the paired donor program. And in that situation, someone with a blood group O donor, and, um, but they're an A recipient, might be willing to donate the blood group O kidney to you, and then your A donor could uh, get, donate to that A recipient. And both transplants would be blood group compatible, and there wouldn't be an antibody barrier in either situation. There also is a situation where we can just go ahead and do the transplant in the setting of the blood group incompatibility. You would go through a process called plasma exchange to reduce the antibody levels and even um, possibly receive some special medicines that would reduce the chances of the antibody damaging the kidney even if it was in place. So that's one barrier to uh, kidney transplantation that involves antibody. Another bigger problem is if you have antibodies against the tissue types. These are the HLA uh, types on the kidney, the quote-unquote match of the kidney you heard a lot about. And about 30% of transplant patients have these. And it's very common in patients who had a prior kidney transplant to develop antibodies. It might even be one of the reasons that you lost your prior kidney transplant, is you have antibodies against the tissue types. The antibodies of tissue types can be a major problem not only early after transplant, but they're a major problem in chronic injury or chronic graft loss in the kidney transplant. We try to avoid these, again, by um, either placing you on the deceased donor list, but it's even less likely to get a transplant in that setting. Only about 5 to 10 percent of patients are ever going to get transplanted on the deceased donor list if they have a lot of antibodies against a lot of different tissue types. Um, similar to the ABO situation, you may uh, be placed in the paired donor program, and that situation might get you one of two outcomes. You actually might get very lucky and find another donor against whom you have no antibody at all, or you might find a donor against whom you have less antibody than you have your original donor. And so you might receive a kidney transplant from someone else, and your donor might donate to someone in your situation against whom it would make for a better transplant or lower levels of antibody. And finally, even in that situation, or even with your originally intended donor, we might give you some special medicine that would actually either reduce antibody production or reduce the chances the antibody actually would damage the kidney. These innovative protocols are really not available in very many places. Only one or two places in the United States are doing this type of therapy right now. These are higher risk type of transplants and they require some special discussions with you and your family when you come to Mayo. If you want to know more about this or if you want to schedule an appointment to talk about this in more detail, call the number on uh, the screen there. It's a toll-free number. You can talk to one of the coordinators about making an appointment. And also there are some publications that are linked on this website that you can uh, read about ABO incompatible kidney transplant or positive cross-match kidney transplant. Thank you and good luck.